right, moving uh, on. Moving on. Yes, next. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima got a Ooh, fucking release date yes. out of nowhere. Yeah. What the actual fuck happened? They just... We had no idea when this was coming out. You mm. assume it's one of those late in the year, potentially like a, a cross-platform PS5, PS4 sort mm. of thing. You know, who knows? But then they're like, nah, by the way, it comes out in three months, June. Oh three. my um, God. That's insane. And they that dropped a three-minute trailer. Crazy. Yeah, tell me about Sorry. how you feel, George. What, what, where's your hat at with Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, man, it looks so good. I've, I haven't been this excited for a game in fucking like a long time it just looks so polished and like the, it's it's fucking well is it feudal japan it is feudal japan yeah it's feudal japan it's yeah. feudal japan during the mongol invasion like the graphics are beautiful like that that bit where he's on top of that hill on his horse looking oh over my the landscape. god yes fucking hell man it looks I know, it's incredible it, it's I like said, this combination as well like the art style between like um photorealistic and like this artistic almost like every shot seems to look like a painting yes and that's yes. I, it's really really nice to look at it's a really cool art style it looks so good um this is gonna be i think it's gonna it's gonna push the envelope for open world shit i think i i really think it is it's gonna be one of those games sort of like sort of like the witcher 3 yeah, I, I i don't think it will i think it oh will. you're a fucking pessimist uh, do, do, you want, do you want me to tell you why i don't think it will okay it's not that I think it'll be a great game. I truly believe that. I just don't think it'll push the envelope of the other one. And the reason I believe that is we have seen the most we can get out of this generation of consoles. I don't think we're going to see the next level until mm. the an, an exclusive built for PS5, Xbox, whatever they, it's called. Xbox Fridge. Horizon. Xbox Series uh, X. Yeah. Xbox Horizon Zero Dawn 2 pushes the envelope uh, for what an open world can be. I don't know why I said that in your voice. <laughs> if that's yeah. a video you're going to make. <laughs> I'm going to now. I'm going to now. Your, that, you need to make that your opening for the Horizon yeah. 2 review. Yeah. And I'll do it in your voice, the way you do my voice, where it's not actually me talking, but it's Horizon just... It's two. a guy that's kind of can't decide whether he's Australian, South African, or a New Zealander. <laughs> I'm all it's of the above, mate. Accent. Yeah, all of the above, mate. All of the above. Um, all of the above. I like these games. They're great. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I sound like I got a head injury. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I, I think it'll be a really well-polished, beautiful game that takes elements that we're probably used to in maybe a little bit of... It, I'm sure it's own unique direction that we've seen in Horizon and The Witcher 3. Uh, mm. But I think it will... <laughs> just be a, a something that takes what that is and has its own take on it. The same way I feel like Horizon has its completely own take on what The Witch 3 does. Um, mm-hmm. They're both in and of themselves amazing games. I think Ghost of Shima will be similar just maybe a few, you know, four or five years later in terms of quality. Um, and then it'll have a, an amazing story, an amazing world to explore, soundtrack gameplay. There's going to be a lot to love about this game. But in terms of pushing the envelope, in terms of being the next... Um, benchmark, I just, I, I I have to see it to believe it, personally. I think with this game, what it's probably going to do pretty well is combine elements of The Witcher and how that game, you know, changed the way that we think of open world games with the quest systems and the open-endedness of everything um, that we've seen in Assassin's Creed, in Horizon. Um, I think it'll take that and merge it with the classical elements of more of a immersive type game, like maybe like a Red Dead Redemption or an old school Assassin's Creed, to the point where I think we're going to have the gameplay elements and that structure of a Witcher type RPG, whilst having the immersion of more of a, you know, more of a controlled experience. That's where I feel like they're going with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it looks very immersive and it looks very grounded. It doesn't look. Yeah, like I'd almost like million, it to. I'd, like, I'd love it know, to play XP more like God of War and... than than The Witcher personally. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd like us to be more of a God of War in terms of it's open world, but it's also not. It's yeah. really grounded story based. I'd I'd prefer that um, type of game than anything like The Witcher personally. Sure. I think it's. I mean, I think it's more open than a God of War. It looks like a full open world. I like agree. I agree with you world. that it looks that way. I'm just meaning um, that's probably what I'd rather also... see, see it do. I also don't want like a huge work to me. It looks to me the perfect thing to look at is probably like a horizon. The way that it's, it horizon's so open, but like the world isn't so massive that it's ridiculous. And you have yeah. these very distinct areas. And I think we've seen that in 
Ghost of Tsushima where you've got, you know, you've got these like areas where it looks pretty cold. You've got these areas where it looks like you've got these big fields. You've got areas where it's mountainous. Um, it's areas where it's, there's a lot more villages, certain areas with farmland. You've got these swampy areas and stuff. Uh, areas with like, you know, big, you know, bamboo forests and everything. And so I think there's very distinct regions of this world that are very different from each other in their appearance, uh, similar to Horizon in that sense. And I think it'll be very dense and packed and not a massive, huge, like, fucking Assassin's Creed open world. I yeah, think we're going to be getting be more, like of a, yeah, more, more of a... more of a focused... No, more of a yeah. focused yeah, open world space, um, which I think will be able to really, really focus and concentrate on those... those Like, the moment-to-moment gameplay of things that you can find and discover um so like as you're riding along because that's what i love about horizon is you'll just you'll go set out to do one thing and you'll do like five other things and you'll be like how did i even get here like what is going <laughs> yeah. on what have yeah. i actually been doing 100%. and that's 100%. what works so well in those sorts of games um and that's what i would love to see in this is those you know far more focused concentrated experiences than these just vast like you have this massive world but it's full of nothing um yeah and I think they're going to push that. And to me, like, this is why I say on Twitter, this is my radical take, is that this will be my game of the year over The Last of Us Part Two and over Cyberpunk. I just feel like this game is going to hit what well, I want out of games more than those two will. Um, yeah. I could be completely wrong because it's a very I think, I think, take. I, th- I think I'm but... with you. I mean, I predict Last of Us Part Two will be mine, but I think my second runner-up would be Ghost of Tsushima before Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. I honestly think Cyberpunk yeah. will end up being mine because I just love those types of games too much. Like, sort yeah. of like Fallout, sort of Borderlands sort of style. Um, yeah. I oh, love that's them. a franchise I could do without. Borderlands, Jesus. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Fuck off, Borderlands is good. Fuck. And just Fuck another up. mindless shooter that George is. Fuck is good. Off. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. Off. There's, there's more to it, man. Like, I, I can play it, you know, for hours on end all night and not sleep and just shoot things. It's more than that. <laughs> I don't think okay. sometimes a character do. pops up in the corner on a radio and says things and it's deep it is funny while I'm shooting things Look, and then fuck off. getting you materials both destiny. you both played destiny you can't, you can't yeah and I'm not under any illusion that it's any more than a mindless shooter because that's yeah. exactly what destiny is I shoot <laughs> things and be. I get loot and that is quite fun there's more There's times. more of a story in destiny 2 than there is in borderlands like any day destiny of the fucking 2 has week a, has a campaign Borderlands so fucking boring. Nah, Borderlands Two is so Borderlands. fun to play. Borderlands Two is the I one I've tr- oh, I've nothing I'd rather not do than play games with people. Like, oh my god, <laughs> really? Do you not like, uh, like player? No, no, fuck, fuck, no, not, not now. This is me in high school. I got, I was like, I got an Xbox. And all my friends are like, fuck yeah, come play COD with us, Tyler. And I, and you ask all my friends how many times I was in an Xbox Live party with them in high school, all high school, zero times. Because oh, I'm like, I, I don't want to talk to you. What Games are not for me to talk to people. At the, la- the last thing I want to do is talk to people. I See, want to now. just, I want to just, more, it's me now more than <laughs> ever. Um, mm-hmm. I at least liked, got into multiplayer at times, like mm. through high school and, and Halo, stuff. Halo. Halo, Assassin's Creed, all that, but... Now, oh, never. I will never play an online game with friends. And if I play an online game, it'll be by myself still. Like, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to play with friends. I don't like playing games most, with friends. Back in the day when I was, when I was like, fucking... I don't know how old was I. I must have been like 14, 15, 16. When I was, you know, <coughs> at school. That was the most I ever did was... The, in terms of games, was playing multiplayer. Playing Halo 3 or COD 4. Yeah. Or whatever. That yep. was all I did. I mean, obviously, I, I was so into Assassin's Creed. And I love story games, and there was time for that. But yeah. I spent most of my time when I got home from school. I'd just be playing online with friends. And there's so many great, like, great moments you have and stuff like that. But I could not do that now. I think I'd rather kill myself. Yeah, yeah, hundred yes, percent. I just like, if I'm playing not, a game, I want to sit down and chill out. Mm, and, yeah, and yeah, know, exactly. I'm, I, this is my relaxing time. I work fucking hard. I want to relax. I do. Oh God, if I want to, oh, no. Like, I it literally makes it, it annoys me even thinking about it. I would last thing I want to do. <laughs> the last thing I want to do, and the I'm only way I'd play a game, the only game I'd play with someone is like I'll sit down. I haven't done it in probably like five months, um, in my own house on my own couch, uh, sit, uh, with Jared playing like Rocket League, and I don't play Rocket League, but he does, and I just would jump on, mm. and but we're mm. just chatting shit next to each other, um, but I don't want to play any other game that I care about. Like if I want to play a game, I'm gonna play a story. Or I'm going to sit and listen to a podcast. It's just my relaxing time. It's my alone time. It's my calm down time. 
Whereas, yeah, I don't want to then talk to people and socialize. If I wanted to do that, I'd I'd see them in person. I mean, you can't you can't yeah. kill bosses in person with, with your mates. <laughs> I mean, you can if you think about it. If you look at it with the right mindset, what, you what could. boss am I going to beat with my mates? What boss am I going to beat with my mates? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just have a lot of memories of, of I suppose a lot of my experiences playing multiplayer games with people was when I was a lot younger playing Destiny One and sort of like Halo Three and stuff like that and uh, Call of Duty, Minecraft, days. and fucking you know all those different. I played games. all the Destiny Two pretty much solo. Destiny Two wasn't very good at launch. Destiny Two, I, 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 Destiny I, I like was Destiny sick. Two. It was fucking a million times better than Destiny 1. I fucking hated... Base Destiny Oof. 1 is one of the worst piles of shit I've ever played in my oh, life. Oh, Base Destiny what a 1 fucking, was bad. Yeah, it was what bad. an embarrassing pile of nothing that I paid full price for. It was just a pile of fucking nothing. Out, really, wasn't it? It, I didn't then, mind taking King, but Destiny 2 was way better. Had an actual story... Yeah, way better. I love Destiny 2. It did, but the, I, the, the overall gameplay components <coughs> and raids were just so much weaker than the first game that I just I got to max rank in about a month, then left the game completely for like a year. But that's what I want. That's what I want. I don't have I, I don't have time to make a video game my full time job, and that's what de- games like Destiny and Division are. I'm just gonna play the base game until I max level, and then I'm gonna fuck off forever. I'm never gonna play it again. <laughs> I got to max level on base Destiny 2, and then I just fucked off. I'm like, my I character looks exactly how I wanted to look. I had fun, and I'm done with this, and I will never play it again. And I have never played it again, but I had a great time, and I'll play the next game, base. And then I'll, when I'm done with that, and I've played a normal amount of time, you know, 30, 50 hours of a normal game, and then I'll turn it off and never play it again. Because I don't have time. I don't, I've got jobs. Yeah. I don't have I don't time for another time full-time job. Either. Like, I, I used to play a lot of Destiny, but I, I stopped playing it, because there's other more important things <laughs> to sink hundreds of hours into. 